Okay, next up, we're going to learn how to update a database. Okay, so right now we know how to connect, select, insert. Now it's time to update. So let's get started. Let's get our PHP tags in there. Okay, uh, let's include our connect.php. So here we go. Query, MySQL query, always the same. Okay, and then inside these double quotation marks, we are going to update tutorials.users, so database.table. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down a line and I'm going to say set first name equal to, hmm, okay, let's, let, um, real quick. So we know what we're looking at here. Uh, let's say I am Mike D. Okay. And Mike D wants to change his email address. Yeah, let's do that. He wants to change his email address. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to set email. So let's say instead of, I think it was Mike at email, let's say D at email.com. Let me just double check that. All right, so his original is Mike. Now we want to change it to D. Now all this code is saying is, okay, open up your database and your table, set email equal to D. But as far as you know, the code goes, it or the database, it has no idea what it's updating. So that's why we're going to say where um, name first name equals Mike and last name because we I believe we have two mics so and last name equals D all right and then I'll pull that back up and that's it so let's just uh, double check this real fast so we have two mics and what I want to do is I want to change the email address on Mike D so change it from Mike to D at email.com okay so let's open up update and let's refresh okay so no errors nothing popped up okay and here's mike at email.com if I refresh this now we have d at email.com alright so that's, that's pretty much how you update information now all we did was we updated the email but let's say we wanted to update the first name the last name and the password say we wanted to update everything the password so we're gonna set first name equal to Michael okay so let's say he might be wants to change his name to Michael and his last name to um, I don't know, D, D sum, I don't know, D sum, and that should be, oh, and his password. I think his password was bunny, so let's change it to rabbit. Where first name equals Mike. Again, this is telling you where in your table are you going to be updating information. So very important, otherwise it's not going to know what to do. And then you have the set, and then you tell it, what you want to update. Now just to, to let you know, some sometimes the, the script needs you to put these little, remember these aren't single quotes, uh, this is the button next to the one. Sometimes you need to have those in and sometimes you don't. Uh, for me I don't, um, but sometimes you do. Okay, so let's see what happens now. Let's save this and Mike D, his name should change to Michael and Vison. Okay, so let's update. All right, updated. And all right, where's we got Mike and D is now Michael Beesom. And last name was originally Bunny, now it is Rabbit. And that's it, that's how you update. I don't think there's really anything else. Um, oh, and let, I mean, let's say you were working with a form and 
the user wants to change his first name, so came in at post first name, uh, and then you had last name, okay, and so on. Okay, I'll just show you those two. So that means you're going to set first name equal to the variable first name. You're going to set the last name equal to the variable last name. You got the email, I'm going to set to email. And password will be set to the variable password. Now, because we don't have a form, this isn't actually sending us anything. So, until you have a form, we are just going to have to replace this with. Uh, let's say we change Mike back, Michael back to Mike. So, we got first name is Mike, change his last name back to D and email uh, well I can't oh his I believe was just Mike at email.com and let's say he changed his password to all right uh, hmm so he had bunny rabbit eh, Easter because that's what I'm thinking all right, and now I'm thinking of chocolate, so chocolate. All right, so let's see what happens now. So refresh. Oops. Okay, and let's open up. So, okay, real quick, Michael D. Sum should change back to Mike D. And his password should be chocolate. Okay, and it did not work, so let's go find out why. All right, looking through, I believe, all right, missed that single quote after email. So let's go check now, save. Okay, refresh. And... Still nothing, Michael D. Sum Rabbit. Okay, one more time. Okay, I stupid mistake. Notice that in our database it is Michael D. Sum. However, in uh, my script here, we're looking for Mike and D, which doesn't exist. So, Michael and D. Sum. Now this should work just fine. So let's refresh and update. Yep, so Mike D password chocolate. All right, so that is how you update.